Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello everyone. How are Miss, you today? Yes. I, I am dry. I am driving in this moment. Oh, okay. Thank you for me, telling me. Ami. Ami. You too, Atilio? Okay. Ami. Yes. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Be careful, please. Gracias, gracias. All right. Welcome to the class, everyone. I'm happy to see you here. I can see Celia. Celia is not driving. She's the only one that is not driving. Thank you. Hello, no. Celia. <laughs> How are you, Celia? Fine. You? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. So you are at home already, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> Great. Very good. So everyone, it's Thursday. We are about to finish this week. So, just a reminder, remember, one more week, and the course basically is over. Are you ready, everyone, for the next level? Yes. Yes? <laughs> just of course. Come on, you are more than ready for that. So, we are going to start today's class. We are going to continue practicing the topic that we studied yesterday. Do you remember what was the topic? Mm. verbs in the past very good the verbs in the past so today we are going to continue practicing the simple past okay so please if you have questions tell me if there is something that you don't understand also tell me please so I can explain again now let's see I can see Edwin is here hello Edwin how are you Hello, teacher. <laughs> I'm fine. Sorry, I'm trying to. You're driving to? Connect. No, no, no. Trying to. My okay. AirPods. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> All right, no worries. Okay, welcome to the class. Well, everybody, thank you, thank you so much for being on time. So we are going to start. Just uh, remember, everyone, platform. Okay, a platform, some of you already finished week number three, so super good, but some of you still haven't finished. So if you haven't finished the week number three, please try to work on it. Remember, it's really important to finish it. It's an obligation, it is not optional. Also, remember everyone, be careful with the attendance, okay? Um, it's only one more week. So please, the rest of the days, try to attend to the class and try to stay the two hours. It's only some days, everyone, okay? So during these days, please try to connect. Don't uh, miss the class because the attendance is really important. Some of you have a very low score in attendance. Okay, so be careful with that, right? So later when most of the people is here, I'm going to uh, share with you how the percentage of the attendance is going. And uh, if you are in green, in green, that means that you are fine. But if you are not in green, that means that you need to improve your attendance. Okay, but I'm going to show it when most of you are here in the class. Okay, because right now I can see only a few people. I'm going to wait for everyone to connect. Okay, let's see. I'm going to share the presentation right now. Let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is February. 16th and we will continue practicing the verbs in the past. So before starting, we checked the verb to be. Can you remember the two options of the verb to be in past? The regular. Was the regular. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yes, we have the regulars and the irregulars, but talking about the verb to be is was, was where. and where. That's it. Very good. If it is in negative, what is the only thing that I need to do? 
was a not. Exactly. And weren't. Very good. Excellent. So, yesterday we talked about our last vacations. Okay, so you told me when was it, how was it, where were you? So, right now I'm going to interview some of you and I will ask you these questions. These are the questions that you practiced with your classmates. So, now I'm going to interview you. Okay, so I hope you remember this. Remember also, please, the vocabulary, the adjectives that we studied. So try to use them. Let's see, who am I going to ask first? Da -da 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 well, I'm going to ask to Celia. <laughs> Celia, you have two profiles right now. Sorry, teacher. Ya me conecto que estaba en el celular porque no tenía batería la, la computadora, pero ahorita está. <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay, Celia, tell me, when was your last vacation? Where? When was your last vacation? Mm, my last vacations uh, were in Cuco, Cuco Beach. Ah. Uh, the Cuco Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how was it? With my family. Mm, okay, but the question is how? Was it? Ah, nice. It was? It, it was nice. Why? Because uh, what was my family and I love beach. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Celia, can you pick someone, please? Henry? Oh, Henry is driving. Okay, Carla. Okay, hello, Carla. Hello. How are you? Fine. <laughs> okay, what happens, Carla? <laughs> I listened that you are running or something. I, I broke the cam. <laughs> you, you what? Mm, here's my cam. <laughs> ah, all right. Okay, Carla, but can you speak? Yeah. Like okay. It. Ah, there you are. <laughs> okay, Carla, tell me, when was your last vacation? Mm, my last vacation was in May 2020, 2022. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. And how was it? Mm, Boring. <laughs> boring or worrying? Boring. Ah. No. In past? <laughs> worrying. It's okay. But why? Uh, I, I, I went este, any place. Only in the house. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. And how long were your vacation? Um, one week. Only one week? Only one week. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay, Carla, can you pick someone, please? Um, Jose Marvin. Okay. Hello, Jose Marvin. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm very fine. Very I'm good. Sorry. Uh, all right, right now. Uh, oh. I didn't catch the, the, the topic, I don't know. It's okay, no worries, no worries. Keep safely, please. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to ask to Jorge. I can see Jorge is here. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. When was your last vacation, Jorge? And um, in Christmas the last year. Oh, and how was it? Um, well, really stay stayed in home. Only uh one day I visited my 
my father in San Salvador. Mm, but okay. the rest of the week, but I have uh, one week for vacation. The rest of the week I have in my house. You stayed at home. Yes, okay. Yes, All right. Very good. Very good. Okay, Jorge, pick the last one, please. Um, Tony is there. Are you there? Uh, no. Um, Juan Jose. Okay. Hello, Juan. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So Juan, tell me, when was your last vacation? Okay, my last vacation was the last year in, in December. All right. And how was it? It was good. Uh, we went with my wife to the beach and we spent a good time. All right. How long were you on vacation? And the beach was three days, but my vacation was one week. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Excellent okay. job. So if you see everyone, you are talking in simple past. Excellent job. Now, just remember, was is for singular, where is for plural. So if you say my vacation, can I say my vacation was or my vacation where? Was. Exactly. But if you say, ah, my vacations was or where? Where. In this case, we will say where, all right? So something important, and this can help you at the moment that you talk, remember, we need to follow the structure, subject, verb, and complement. Keep it simple. So for example, I ask, how was your vacation? So you can say, ah, it was nice. Why? Ah, I was at the beach. Okay, so look. I'm just following this structure, subject, verb, complement. How long was your vacation? Ah, it was only one week. And still I have subject, verb, complement. And if you see in my answers, I didn't use a different verb, only the verb to be, okay? Keep it simple. The problem is that sometimes we are talking and we say, ah, nice, eh, I eh, mountain, for example. So we don't complete the full sentence, okay? So be careful with that. So far so good, I really liked it. You are improving, you are talking in simple past. Today we are going to continue practicing, especially the regular verbs. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, if you listen to your names, stay present. Let's see. Okay, give me a second. Okay, Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay, Andrea Amalia. Present. Okay, Atilio Ernesto. Okay, um, Blanca Elizabeth. Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. All right. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, very good. Henry Alberto. Oh, he's driving. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, very good. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jose Ezequiel. Ezequiel, no. Juan Antonio Elías. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío. 
present. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Okay. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. Stephanie Michel. Jancy Kelita. Okay. Jose Marvin. Here, teacher. All right. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Now, as I was saying, it's important, everyone, to keep in mind the attendance, please. And I will share with you the percentage that you have in the attendance. Okay. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Well, I'm going to share it with you tomorrow because it's not updated. Okay. But I'm going to share with you. Let's see the platform, okay? This is the platform. Remember, we are on the week number three. So the idea is that you have to finish, please. Remember, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow after the class, I update your grades. So please try to finish the platform. Some of you haven't finished. Um, the unit number uh, three. And I have some people, I mean, I don't want to say the names, but for example, Carlos, I'm sorry to say it, but you haven't finished a uh, unit two, not the unit three. And I cannot see grades from the exam. So please, you have to do it. At the contrary, everyone, you can have problems in order to start the next level. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see. So far, so good. Most of you are very good with the grades, right? Um, Jose Marvin, Jose Marvin, you are, you haven't started the platform yet. So Sorry, teacher. tomorrow, um, tomorrow I, I, I will do is everything. All right. Very good. Excellent. So remember everyone, platform is an obligation right, is your daily homework. So you have to do it. And then let's see, uh, most of you already finished most of the platform. I have some people who haven't uh, finished the week number three, you still have time, but remember that I'm waiting till tomorrow. Right, because tomorrow after the class, I need to update the grades. Okay, so so far, so good. Most of you are completing the platform. So the ones that are a little bit back, so please try to keep moving and finish it. Okay. Now, if you have questions about the exercise, tell me. I know that sometimes some exercises can be a little bit confusing. Some of your classmates send me sometimes the exercises and I try to help you as soon as possible. Sometimes I'm in a class, so that's why I don't answer so fast, but I always try to do it as fast as possible. Now, let's- Sorry, teacher, uh, yes? I can answer you about the platform right now or tomorrow i'm sorry can i ask you something about platform or tomorrow no do it now i have problems with the tarea 15. okay let me open up the homework so we can check what the exercise is number 15. yes Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, this is the one? Yes. Okay, in which one? Um, 
three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the number three. In the group chat, it is? Ah, uh, I could see sometimes uh, you send the answers, right? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, some of your classmates already answered it. So remember that here is a question. Was he at work this morning? And the instruction says that you can answer like with a yes or with no. Important details in this exercise and in all of the exercise, everyone, you need to use contraction. If you say was not, um, it, the exercise is going to take you as incorrect. So you have to use contractions. Also, the final period, the final point, if you don't add it, the exercise can also take it as incorrect. Okay. Um, so is the, is the answer clear? Because you can see your classmate sent the answers in the chat. Can you see it? Okay, I will see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as I said, try to use contractions and don't forget to add the point. That is in case that you answer in negative. If you answer in affirmative, so in that case, no problem. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Do you have any other questions about this exercise? Okay. Well, if you have questions during the platform, again, you can ask me, you can send me like a screenshot and I will check it. Or also you can send it in the group. Remember that some of your classmates already finished so they can help you and they can say, ah, I already finished. So I will help you with that. Okay, so remember we are a team. We have to help each other. All right. And today's topic is the verbs in the past. We will continue talking about it, but today we are going to focus on yes, no questions. Okay, now this is the objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the objective. Me? Yes, go ahead. Okay, the verbs in the past, yes, no question. Class objective. Participants will be able to apply simple past using the verb, using the verb be for yes, no questions. Thank you, very good. So we are going to ask yes, no questions using the verb to be. If we still have time during the class, we will ask yes, no questions, but with different verbs too. Now let's remember a little bit the regular verbs. Do you remember this topic? Yes. Yes? Yes. So we have three options, right? Some verbs will be pronounced like ed, some other with t, and some others with d. So, for example, if I have the verb arrive, in past, I just need to add the letter d. So what is the correct pronunciation? Arrived, arrived, or arrived? What do you think? Arrived. Three. Number three. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Yes, very good. That's the correct one. Remember yesterday I explained you what voiceless and voiced is and also, you have this box. You just have to see what's the final sound. In this case, arrive. The last sound is the letter V. So we will pronounce it like a D. So we are going to say arrived, arrived. Another example, let's see. I have the verb, mm, let's see, fix. In simple past, what is the correct pronunciation? Fixed, fixed, or fixed? The second. The second one? Yes, number two. Fixed, 
Yes. Yes, that's correct. Exactly. We will say fixed. 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 And one more. Need. Need. Simple past. What is the pronunciation? Fierce. Needed. Needed. Very good. Remember, it's ending in D. D. So, needed. That's the pronunciation of the regulars. That is the rule that you need to follow. If you feel difficult to identify what the correct pronunciation is, just follow the box. Okay? Um, I know that in this moment you can see, ah, oh, it's difficult to memorize it. It's just with the time, okay? With the time, you will remember that if you don't feel vibration at the end of the, in the last sound, you will pronounce it with T. If you feel vibration, so is with V. And the only two difference are the ones that are ending in T or D. That's it, okay? Any questions so far about the pronunciation? No? Okay, if you don't have questions, now let's have a practice. I will show you a verb and you have to tell me what the correct pronunciation is. In this moment, I want to everybody participate. So maybe I will ask individually. Okay, so please pay a lot of attention here. So the first verb is call. So pronunciation, what do you think? Cult. B. Letter B with the letter T. Cult. Cult. Yes, teacher. Do you agree? Are you sure? Yes. 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 Mm. No pictures. All right, look at this. What happens with call? What is the last sound? L, L, right? So do we do we have vibration? L, yes. If you feel difficult to identify if you have vibration or not, let's go back to the exercise. Look, I have the letter L here with the letter D. So pronunciation is cold, cold. All right. Next one, ask. Letter B, ask. ask. B. So what is the pronunciation? Asked. 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 That's Asked. the one, much better, much better. Okay, how about this one? This is. This we did. Option C. 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 Visited, a. are you sure? A. Yes, a. C. A. C. Nice, very good, very good. How about this one? Answer. Letter A. 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 Letter A. 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 Okay, Answer. Pro pronounce it, N? Answer. Ah, Answer. answered. So Answer. remember, in this case, just imagine that the letter E is not there, right? Sure. So the pronunciation is answered, answered, okay? So we need to try to exaggerate the pronunciation. Nice job. Okay, it's time to ask individually. Let me start with Edwin Enrique. Carry. So, what is the pronunciation? Is B. So, A, B, or C? Uh, B. Letter B. Letter B. Yes. Carry it with the letter Carried. T. Yes. Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Okay, what happens here? And you can go back to the box. Look, what happens with the vowels? Look, all the vowels are 
voiced. Ok, all the vowels. So, si tienen sonido de vowel at the end, so you have to pronounce it with the letter D. In this case, remember, what is the last sound in carry? Carry. E, e, right? Carry. So, we need to say carried. Carried. So, next, I'm going to ask to 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 turn Abigail Bonilla. Go ahead. The option B. Check. Checked. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Next, let's see. Eh, Carlos, are you there? Hello, Carlos. Okay, Celia, continue, please. Celebrates. Option C. So, what will be the pronunciation? Celebrate. Eat. Ah, celebrated. that's the one. Celebrated. Celebrated. Very good, very good. Okay, next is for Jorge Antonio. Go ahead. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> um, is cooked. Letter B. Letter B. Cooked. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Who else? Who else? Ezequiel. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, letter C. Dance it. Dance it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember, in this case, dance. What is the last sound? Dance. C. So it sounds like a letter S, right? Dance. So in this case, oh, no vibration. C. So is the letter T. Dance. Okay. Danced. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's continue. Next one, it's for Juan Jose. Go ahead. Okay. Cry. What will be the pronunciation? Cried. A. Letter A? Yes. Cried. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, next, Karen. Um, letter A. Letter A, pronunciation, please. Clean. Cleaned. Clean. Cleaned. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see, Carla. Hi. <laughs> Climb. <laughs> uh, letter, letter A? Letter A, so pronunciation? Um, climbed. Yes, climbed. Climbed. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now pay attention in this one, everyone. Close. What would be the pronunciation, everyone? What do you think? Letter B. Close. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Close. Un punto menos si se equivocan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No. Ah. <laughs> okay. Look, this verb is a little bit tricky because you see here the letter S. So you think, ah, it's close. So no vibration. So it's with the letter T. Remember everyone, I always say the last sound. 
not the last letter, the last sound. And be careful with the pronunciation because the pronunciation of this verb is not close, is close, close. So let's go back to the box that I gave you during the class. Look, letter S, what happens? With the letter D, because in this case, most of the time, the letter S at the end of the verb, it doesn't, it is not like a letter S, it's like a Z. So we have vibration. So in this case, the correct pronunciation for this verb is D, closed, closed. So, ¿Cómo digo yo cerré la puerta? Ajá. Uh -huh. I closed the door. Very good. I closed the door. So, D, D. Okay. Be careful. This is a little bit tricky. Okay. Let's go back. I'm going to ask to, 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 to Luis Miguel. Go ahead. Discuss. Mm. Discuss it. Uh, C. Letter C. Discuss it. Yes. Are you sure? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Okay, be careful here, everyone. Remember. In the letter C, only the verbs that are ending in the sound T or D. Now, if you see this verb is ending, but in double S. It's not only one S, it's double S. So the pronunciation here is not discussed, it's discussed. No vibration, so we are going to say discussed. Discussed, all right? Next, we have this verb and the turn is for... Oh, I have a lot of listeners. Okay, volunteer, please. Who wants to answer? Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Okay, Ezekiel, go ahead. Yeah, let me try it again. <laughs> Do it. Um, enjoy it. Letter A. Letter A. Enjoyed. Are you sure? Yeah. And yes, <laughs> very good. You did it. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh, everyone, volunteer. Explain. Uh huh. Everybody. Yeah. A. Letter A, pronunciation. Explained. In. Ah, explained, explained. How about this one? Feel. 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 Letter B. Letter B, Field. are you sure? Feel. Okay, A, B, or C? A. A, are you sure? Letter A. Letter A, are you sure? Check the table, everyone. Check the box. It's ending in L. The last sound is L. So what happens when the last sound is L? Look. So we will say, Field, field. Okay, the last one because of the time. What is the pronunciation? Count. Counted. The letter C. Are you sure? Yes. That's the one. Very good. Now, listen, everyone. Um, I don't want you just to be able to identify. Ah, yes, it's letter T. So, ed. 
I want you to be able to pronounce it. Okay, so in this case, ah, counted, filled. So remember, we need to pretend that the letter E is not here. So what is the pronunciation? Filled. Filled. We need to exaggerate this sound. An example of this pronunciation is this name. Pronounce this name, please. David. Okay, in Spanish, how can I David. say this? Ah, how, imagine sometimes in Spanish, nosotros no decimos David. ¿Cómo decimos nosotros? David, David. right? David. That's the problem. We don't usually pronounce the last D. That's why sometimes when we try to pronounce the regular verbs, it's difficult for us because we don't say the last letter. So we need to exaggerate. David. So ese sonido, that is the sounds that I want to listen to in this word. Field. Field. All right? So exaggerate the ending sounds. When you have, for example, in T, this is the same. Imagine that this is not here and imagine that is a letter T. So we will say disgust, disgust. So exaggerate the letter T. So we can easily understand that you are talking in simple past. Okay? Is it clear, everyone? Questions about the pronunciation of the regular verbs? No questions, are you sure? Hmm. Okay, if you don't have questions, let's have another practice. We are going to practice reading. I have a short story and this story has a lot of verbs in simple past. So I want you to read but I want you to exaggerate the pronunciation of the regular verbs. I want a perfect pronunciation with the regulars. So, who wants to start? Who wants to read? I <laughs> Only one? That. Do it, try, I'm you can sorry. do it. Excellent. I started as a normal day. I watched the news and the waited as my wife prepared breakfast. She cooked and I cleaned, which the what we had decided on when we date and continued after we got married. I love it. The way she scrambled eggs and I still do. Very good. Thank you, Liz. So, super good with some of the regulars. Imagine in this case, pronunciation, please. The first one. The, my, the regular verse are my kryptonite. <laughs> Your kryptonite. But it's just for a moment. Later, you will be an expert in this topic. Okay? You will see. You will see. Don't give up. So, started started or you can say started it is started i started as a normal day uh, i uh-huh start i watched very watched. good i watched i, I watched, watched i watched, watched. uh-huh i watched the news and I waited. 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 Very good. Waited. And waited. Waited as my wife. Prepared. Prepared. Very good. Prepared. Prepared. As my wife prepared breakfast. She cooked. 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 She cooked and I cleaned. 
cleaned, cleaned. So I cleaned, which is what we had decided, decided on when we dated, dated, and continued. Dated. Continued. 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 Even yeah. after, uh huh. Even after we got married. 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 You cannot say married. Don't say married. That is one of the most common mistakes with this word. So, married. Then, I. I love. I loved the way she scrape, scrambled, 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 scrambled eggs. Scrambled egg. Very good. And I still do. So a lot of regular verbs. So in this moment, it's not necessary to you read like very fast. No, try to read slowly because in this moment, what I need is to listen the pronunciation of the regular verbs, okay? Now, let's continue with the story. Who wants to read? Another volunteer? Uh-huh, who wants to read? Volunteer, please. Your teacher. Okay, Ezequiel, go ahead. Let me try it. You can do it. Okay. Excellent. After I walked to the store and picked up and picked up some groceries, I asked the butcher about the smoked meat, but it had not been it was cured. Mm -hmm. Okay, cured, and I needed to wait another day. Later, I relaxed and I used the hangmock while I typed a few emails on my laptop. Few emails. Uh, okay, few emails on my laptop. That's the one. Excellent job. So if you see, very good pronunciation. Ezekiel actually was super good. What is the meaning of hammock? Everyone, what is that? I don't know. That's the yeah. one. Do you like to relax on the hammock? Yeah. Yeah, right. Very good. What is the meaning of butcher? I don't know, teacher. Anyone? What is the name of the person who always uh, who sells meat? and prepares the meat in the supermarket. Carniceria. Okay, but this is the name of the person. Carnicero. Car exactly, oh. that's the one. Very good, very good. Okay, excellent job. Now let's continue with the story. Who wants to read? Try everyone, don't be afraid. The idea is to practice. Me? Yes, go ahead. I called some clients and worked about meetings next week. I studied the notes from some employees and hoped, hoped, hoped? that they enjoyed my free back. I created a PowerPoint and changed a few day, dates, no, dates? dates on my schedule. Very good, nice, thank you. So if you see everyone, Read slowly and try to pronounce. That is the practice that you should do at home, okay? Read out loud. That is going to help you. 
If you read out loud, slowly try to pronounce every single word so you can pronounce them correctly. Okay, who else? Volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Me, yes. teacher. Go ahead. That I bought some eggs in baked some fish. Then my wife arrived home and I listened to her talk about her day and I remember remember to complete her high wish. Mama? Causing her to push. She still likes it when I appreciate her beauty. beauty. Right. Her beauty. Thank you. All right. Let's see some of these regulars. Here, it's ending in L. What is the pronunciation? D. Ah, so we will say? Boiled. 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 So after that, I boiled some eggs and baked. Baked. Very baked. good. Baked. And baked some fish. Then my wife arrived. Arrived. Ah, letter D. Arrived. Arrived home. And I listen. Listening. Listen. Letter D. Listened to Listen. her talk about her day. And I remembered. Remembered. Letter D. Remembered to compliment her hair, which caused, caused hair to blush. She still. Liked. liked very good liked when i appreciate it. appreciate appreciated in this case we pronounce the ed appreciated when i appreciated her beauty very good. So you see everyone, little by little, we are learning to pronounce the verbs correctly. With Thanks the practice, the with the practice, everyone, you will get better, okay? Now, the last part of the story, last volunteer for reading. Uh -huh. My teach a uh, turning of the lines. Another normal day had passed. All right, thank you, Tilio. So, everyone, I showered. Showered. Letter D. Showered. Showered. What else? Brush. Letter T, brushed. So finally, I showered, brushed my teeth, and turned, turned, turned off the lights. Another normal day had passed. Passed. Had passed. Very good. So, Easy or difficult, the pronunciation of the regular verbs. What do you think? Difficult. Difficult? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, these, I know, is, is a topic that may be difficult for many people, right? Because in Spanish, we don't have words 
with this type of pronunciations. I mean, in Spanish, we don't have words that are ending in T. So that's why it's difficult to pronounce it, right? So it's not common for us. That's why it's difficult. So if you feel that pronounce these verbs is difficult, this is the topic that you need to practice more. The more you practice, the more expert you will become, okay? So practice, practice. This is a topic that you have to practice every single day, okay? Now, let's continue. We are going to have another practice. I have a challenge, girls versus boys. Let's see who had the best pronunciation. I have some verbs and you have to tell me what is the correct pronunciation. You will have only 25 seconds to pronounce it correctly, okay? If you answer correctly, well, you will get the points. If not, you will lose, okay? Oh uh, my gosh, we don't have a lot of time. So we are going to do the game a little bit short, okay? So we got the girls and we got the boys. But please, I want to everybody try. Sometimes only one girl answer, only one boy answer. So no, that's not the idea. This is a team, okay? So let's start with the girls. Girls, give me a number, please. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. Okay, mm -hmm. girls, tell me what is the correct pronunciation of this verb? Listen. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Listen. Listen. So remember, I don't want to listen to you saying, listen it. Ah, I listen it to music. No, I listened to music. Very good. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number five. Which one? Five. Five. Yes. What is the pronunciation of this verb? Talked. Talked. Again? Talked. 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 Are you sure? Talked. Yes. yes. Talked. Ah, good job, boys. Very good. Talked. Talked. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Number one. Okay. Needed. Needed. Are you sure? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, needed. Now, everybody, pay attention because this verb, for example, is for 15 points. Not all the verbs have the same amount of points. This is depends of the number that you pick. Okay, boys, give me a number. Four. Okay. Uh-huh. Washed. 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 Sure? Yeah, washed. Yes. Very good. You see, boys? Very good job. Very good job. Girls, it's your turn. A. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Worked. 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 Are you sure? Worked. Yes. Yes. Worked, that's the one. Very good, very good. Boys, go ahead. Seven. Seven, okay. For 15 points. Watch. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. 
Good. You see, you can do it. Okay, girls, this is the last one for you. Two or three? Three. three. Okay. Danced. Danced. One more time. Danced. Finally, T. Danced. Are you mm -hmm. sure? Yes. 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 Yes, danced. Very good. Okay, boys, this is the last one for you. <clears throat> this is for 20 points. Uh huh, boys. Carried. Carried. D, carried. 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 Yes, are you sure? Yes. Yes, carried. Carried. <laughs> Very good. Okay, the girls are the winners because their verbs had more points. But everybody, well, you, answer, <laughs> you answer correctly yes. all of the verbs. Well, man, <laughs> It is not, it is not, it's just lucky time. Okay, very good, everyone, super good job. Now, it's time to practice a little bit um, listening. I'm going to play an audio. Let's see if you have been practicing listening. In this audio, you will listen to Jude um, talking about his daily week. So basically is the routine. I want you to tell me what are the activities that this person did during each day. The idea is to recognize the irregular verbs. So pay attention, try to understand, and try to identify the pronunciation of the ED endings, okay? Everybody, microphones off, please. I'm going to play the audio, try to take notes. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. On Monday, I practiced the guitar. I practiced all evening. On Tuesday, it was my grandma's birthday. I went to visit her after school. On Wednesday, I needed a rest. I watched a DVD at Simon's house. It was very good. On Thursday, I didn't want to go out. I played computer games with my brother Ian. On Friday, I studied. I tried to learn more Spanish words. I love Spanish. I can speak it quite well. On Saturday, I collected my bus ticket for the school trip. I walked to the town because it was a nice day. On Sunday, I packed my red suitcase for the trip. I packed lots of clothes. Now it's Monday morning and I'm at school waiting for the bus. Okay, ready or I'm playing one more time. Teacher. Uh-huh. Is he a British boy? The accent is a little bit British, yes. So that's why it's a little bit, you know, exaggerated the sound of the letter T, but yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, do you want me to play it one more time, everyone? Yes. Yes, okay, microphones off. I'm going to play it one more time. Remember, try to take note. It's not necessary to copy the full sentences, only the verbs. Pay attention. On Monday, I practiced the guitar. I practiced all evening. On Tuesday, it was my grandma's birthday. I went to visit her after school. On Wednesday, I needed a rest. I watched a DVD at Simon's house. It was very good. On Thursday, I didn't want to go out. I played computer games with my brother Ian. On Friday, I studied. I tried to learn more Spanish words. I love Spanish. I can speak it quite well. On Saturday, I collected my bus ticket for the school trip. 
I walked to the town because it was a nice day. On Sunday, I packed my red suitcase for the trip. I packed lots of clothes. Now it's Monday morning, and I'm at school waiting for the bus. All right. Hi, uh -huh, everyone. Do you have the answers? Yes? No? Yes. Yes? Okay. Everybody, tell me, what did he do on Monday? Practice the guitar. So, pronunciation. Practice. Practiced. Very good. Practiced the guitar. Excellent. How about on Tuesday? What happened? Visit to the grandma. Grandma. Okay. Pronunciation. Visit. Visit. Visited. Ah. So visited. Visited. Very good. So what happens on Wednesday? Okay. What is the pronunciation? Rested. Rested. All right. And what else? What happened here? He did something else. Washed the TV. Ah. Washed. 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 Uh -huh. Good job. What happens on Thursday? Play computer game. Ah. Play. Pronunciation? Played. 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 Okay. How about on Friday? Studied. Studied Spanish. Ah, very good. So, pronunciation of this verb? Studied. 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 Okay. So, imagine that the letter E is not here. What would be the pronunciation? Study. 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 Studied. So that's the pronunciation. Sometimes we say studied. No, studied. Studied. Study. Okay, what happens on Saturdays? Collect. Ah, what is the pronunciation? Collect. Collect. Collected. 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 Mm -hmm. And then and on Sunday, what happened? Packed. Pronunciation? Packed. 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 We cannot say packet. Uh uh. Packed. Packed. So if you see in this conversation, he was using. Most likely only regular verbs. Ah, on Monday, I practiced the guitar. <coughs> then I, I visited my grandma. I watched TV or video games or whatever. I played computer games. I studied Spanish. I collected the bus ticket. I packed my suit. So most of the verbs are just regulars so he described it i mean he described it basically all the week so now that is what we are going to do in the next speaking practice i want you to tell me what you did during the week okay but you have to use i want you to use only the regular verbs okay Try to use the regulars. If you know the irregular, it's okay. But the point of this activity is not using the irregulars, only the regulars. Here, I gave you some examples of the verbs. So what I want you to do is try to give me as many details as possible. For example, you can say, okay, on Sunday, I watched a TV, for example, or I watched a movie, I watched series. Then uh, on Monday, I, I don't know, what, what do you did on Monday? 
Ah, on Monday, I studied English. And on Tuesday, I, uh, I don't know, I needed to buy food. So you had to tell me one activity per day, what you did during this week. Okay, try to give me as many details as possible using the regular verbs. So you have to exaggerate the pronunciation. Is it clear the activity, everyone? Yes? Yes. Todos entiende la activity? Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, hope so. Remember, try to use only the regular verbs. That's the purpose for this activity, only the regular verbs. I'm going to send that exercise on WhatsApp's group so you can get the instructions. Um, listen, I will give you like three minutes so you can think and organize your ideas and then you will share with your classmates okay you have three minutes organize your ideas think about what you will say okay think about it and then we are going to go to the breaking rooms and share the sentences with your classmates You have three minutes. Organize your ideas, please. If you have questions, tell me, please. Organize your ideas. And we are going to share it with the team. Think about it. One more minute. Okay, you ready, everyone? Uh huh. Sure. Organize your ideas. Think about it. Okay, I will give you one more minute, and then we are going to go to the bay, uh, to the breaking rooms. Think about your sentences.
teacher yes it doesn't matter if the day if the verb is an irregular the idea is that you'd have to try to use regulars if you want to include irregulars it's all right but okay. try to include as many regulars as possible okay very good uh -huh, everyone you feel ready yes okay let's see because of the time let's go to the breaking rooms I want you to share the information with your classmates and we have to help each other. If you listen to your classmate that says something like, ah, I play it, help them and tell, hey, it's not play it, it's played, okay? Or if your classmate said, I work it, no, tell them, it's not work it, it's worked worked okay so help each other let's go to work everybody if you are in a group where nobody is listening or talking let me know and i will switch you to another team let's go to work Hello, Carla Sofia Chavez. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you start? I, I, I think so. Go. <laughs> okay, well, on Monday, can I start? With the, the, with any days or the beginning? The ones that you prefer. Okay. On Monday, I worked at the office. And on Tuesday, I, I ate fish. And Wednesday, on one day, I I watched TV. Um, Wednesday, I. I called some some customers in the office on Friday. I walked to my mom's house on Saturday. I I cooked some some eggs <laughs> and on Sunday, Monday. Que día me quedé? Friday. <clears throat> no, this is Saturday, Saturday. On Sunday, I, what I did on, on Sunday, I don't remember what I did on Sunday. <laughs> invent you can invent yes but uh, <laughs> <se me> acabo. <laughs> <laughs> okay but so far so good because you gave a lot of details so excellent job so me Carla me ratón, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no come on you did it great okay Thank Carla go ahead <laughs> um in Monday, I I cleaned cleaned my room. And Tuesday, I 
prove the hamburgers from new restaurant. And um, with me, I watch it a K drama. In Thursday, I send a mail. In Friday, I visit my friend. In Saturday, I attend. I attend my council's very wedding. And Sunday, I washed, washed my clothes. <laughs> washed. Ah. <laughs> washed. What? Okay. What? I, I have a question. Can you repeat the Wednesday, please? Wednesday, I watched a K-drama. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. The ones with the hamburger, uh, I think. Uh -huh, I prove <laughs> I prove the hamburgers <clears throat> from new restaurant. Okay, prove is like probar. That's what you wanted to say. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, in that case, you can say tried or tasted uh -huh. because you are talking about something that you ate, right? So tried tasted. or tasted. Uh huh. What is tasted? Taste is like from it. For example, you can say um, saborear, degustar, right? When you are talking about food, okay? Mm -hmm. So, ah, yo probé la comida. So, I tasted the food or just tried. But what happened is that prove es como de probar. For example, yo probé, yo comprobé que él estaba mintiendo. I proved that he was lying. So we are talking about something different. When we are talking about food, taste or try. Okay. I think so weird <laughs> when, <laughs> when I is right. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Okay, practice a little bit more the verbs. Carla, practice the pronunciation. Now here we got Henry. Aha, uh -huh, Henry, it's your turn. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Very good. I under I understand that the, that the that the exercise is the remember the schedule uh, on this week. Yes, mention the activities oh, okay. that you did, but using regular verbs. Okay. Um, on Monday, I have a meeting with the uh, manage management general management. In Thursday, I I go to San Salvador from San Salvador to Santa Ana every early in the morning, and I and I have I have a meeting with the team with my uh, with my team of the sun. In Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> In Wednesday, I I finish I finish it a longer test. It's a it's a victory for me. <laughs> so can that I say can I say finish it? Finisher. No. Ah, so no finisher. No, Mister. So Ezequiel, help him. How do you say? How do you say? Finished. Finished. Ah, finished. finished. Okay. Yes. And you are talking about in present when you say uh, on Monday I have, when you have to say I have. I have. Uh-huh. Or for Thanks. example, okay. I went instead of I go. Okay. Okay, so you are and on Wednesday. Continue. Thursday. Wednesday. Okay, Thursday. We say Thursday. Remember, remember, remember. Let me see. Thursday. Ah, okay. Uh, Thursday is today. <laughs> I have a Don't training. Don't worry, I, mister. I, I have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened today? I, I have a training uh, today. 
in the morning. And I tasty a new restaurant to hamburgers in Santa Ana. All right. And how was the yes. restaurant? No, no. <laughs> more or less. Okay. Very good. It's Very more, good. It, it's more expensive. It's, <laughs> uh, so the flavor is no more or less. Okay. All right. Excellent, everyone. I just mm. will check another group. If you want, you can continue practicing and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no Spanish, right? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Juan Jose, what happened on Monday? What do you do? Monday, I called to my boss to review a schedule meetings. Ah, very good. Celia, what happened on Tuesday? Tuesday, I walked in the morning. Okay, it's a very good pronunciation, guys. I liked it. Difficult or easy? Always difficult. But you say a good pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation, yes. <laughs> that is a difficult one. We, we need Don't... to learn it. <laughs> but we will continue practicing. Don't worry, okay? We will okay. continue practicing. Actually, it's not only in this level. Okay, in the next levels, always there will be like few moments where you will be able to practice this topic again with the idea that you don't forget it. Okay, but yeah. in your free times, try practice. to practice too. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the main room so we can okay. continue with the class. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, time's up, time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, okay, let's go back, let's go back. All right. Well, I'm just waiting for everyone. Let's see, aha, how was the practice? Easy, difficult? 50-50, what do you think? In my case, 50-50. 50-50, okay. Uh -huh. And the rest of you? Easy or difficult? What do you think? 50-50. 50-50, okay. So, listen, I know it's, it's difficult, I know. But we will continue practicing little by little. Something that I really like is that you are trying. You are trying. A, and that's what I want. Okay? So don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going because you are doing great. Okay? Something that I really like too is that you are giving details. I was listening. Very good a compliment. So excellent job. And... I didn't listen to Spanish in the groups that I was listening to. No Spanish. So guys, that's good. Excellent too. Now, little details. I know we need to continue practicing the pronunciation. Try to exaggerate a little bit more. But something that I like too is that you help each other. Keep going like that. Now, look at these little details. Um, I was listening to, for example, in Monday, in Sunday, in Friday. Can I say that? No, teacher. So what is the correct one? On Monday. Ah, so everyone, be careful. On Monday, okay? Pronunciation. Can I say cleaner? No. So? Cleaned. Ah, very good. Cleaned. Can I say finished? No. So? Finished. Finished. Excellent mm. job. Mm. So, we will continue practicing this topic, but please also, guys, 
try to practice in your free time. Okay, try to review a little bit the verbs. Try to uh, read the regular verbs out loud so you can remember the pronunciation. Okay, so let me interview some of you randomly. Let me start with... Sure. Yes, Edwin, tell me. I have a question with the verb exercise. Okay. Uh, is correct uh, the sentence I exercise. Nada más eso. <laughs> o no sé si entiendo mal el verbo. I mean, like I exercised like this? Yes. Actually, it's correct. You can say that. It's not so common because remember that the most common one is to say, I did exercise. But if you say just, I exercised, perfect. No problem. It's correct. So, any other questions that you may have? Okay, so let's start. Let me interview. Atilio, what did you do on Sunday? Um, Sunday. Uh, I exercised. I exercised. Okay, all right. Yes. And let's see, Carla. What happens on Monday? Um, I cleaned my room. <laughs> cleaned? Cleaned my room. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Karen, what happens on Tuesday? I kissed uh, my son. Okay, kissed. Kissed. All right, very good. Let's see, Abigail Bonilla, what happens on Wednesday? I reviewed the class. Reviewed the class, very good. Uh, let's see, Celia, Thursday, what happened? I helped my mom in the kitchen. Ah, very good, very good. So easy, you see, little by little, let's continue practicing. And as I said before, exaggerate. We are in a video camera, right, video call. So sometimes the pronunciation may be a little bit difficult to listen perfectly. So try to exaggerate, okay? Now, let's continue, everyone. Let's stop talking about the regular verbs for a while. Tomorrow, we will continue practicing that topic. But let's go to the just no questions in simple past. Okay, we are going to check how we can create these questions. But in this moment, we will use only was and where. We are not going to use verbs in this moment, only the verb to be. So what is the structure that we need to follow? Simple. Remember that if I want to ask questions, first is the verb to be, then is the subject, and then is the complement. So for example, were you busy? And because this is a just no question, if the answer is yes, you will say yes, I was. If the answer is no, no, I wasn't. As simple as that, okay? So imagine if I ask you, um, let's see, everybody, were you at home last night? What will be the answer? Were you at home last night? Yes, I was. Ah, very good. Let's see. Were you in English class this week?
Yes, I was. Okay, very good. So simple as that. Imagine if I ask you, were you at the beach um, yesterday? No, I wasn't. Perfect. No, I wasn't. So simple as that. If the answer is yes, yes, I was. If the answer is no, no, I wasn't. Okay, let's see some other examples. These examples are on your manual in the page 42. So everybody, let's go to the manual in the page 42. So how we can how to use these verbs in past? Again, verb to be, was or were, subject and the complement. Look at the example. Was the training interesting? So if the answer is yes, yes, it was. If the answer is no, no, it wasn't. This, if it is in singular, if it is in plural, we use where. Where all the employees at the conference? Yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. Is it clear, everyone, the ones that we can use just no questions with the verb to be? Yes, teacher. Do I need auxiliary if I have the verb to be? What do you think? No. No, no right? I don't need the auxiliary. Excellent job. So let's have a practice, uh, but let's see. Mm, I think that the time won't be enough. Okay, let's jump that one. Vamos a hacer otra practice because of the time. Let's see. Okay, let's do this practice. We have here, we are going to do only five. Okay, we got five sentences here. I want you to unscramble these sentences, okay? Five sentences. Put it in the correct order. Ah, but wait, wait, wait. No, we are going to change it because. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, sorry, sorry. Give me a second. That is not the exercise. Okay, this is the one. We are going to complete this one. I have here different information right here. We are going to read that information and we will create just no question. So let's start with the first box. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Um, on November 1st, I bought a, a spare part for the printer at Spare. Yes, the price was uh, three three hundred dollar. The brand was Rywell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. Thank you. Okay, what questions can we create from from this paragraph using was or where? What do you think? What could be a question? For example, can I say, was where? the was the spare cheap? For example, what do you think? It was three hundred dollars. So, what would be the answer? Yes or no? Imagine that the answer is yes because they have a lot of money. So. Yes. Was the spare? What is the meaning of spare? Any idea? Was. Repuesto. Okay. So it says that I bought a spare. Okay. So was the spare cheap? Yes or no? What do you think? 
If the answer is yes, can I say yes, I was? No, it was. It, it was. Ah, yes, it was. Okay, what could be another question? Look, it says that the brand was right well. What could be a question in that sentence? For example, was the brand right well? What would be the answer? Yes. It was. Very good. Yes, it was. Now let's see the customer service. The customer service was great. What could be a question there? Was the customer service great? Very good. Was the customer service great? What would be the answer? Yes, yes or no? Yes, it was. Very good. Yes, it was. Simple. So, because of the time, we are not going to do the other one. We are going to have a different practice. So, remember, if you want to ask yes, no questions first, you just need the verb to be, then the subject, and then Correct. the complement. Pay attention in these questions. When you use the verb to be, we don't have another verb in the question. For example, if you say, where you go to the beach, is this sentence correct? Where you no. go to the beach? No, because go is verb. Exactly. We cannot put another verb. In this case, we can just say, were you at the beach? In this case, is correct. So remember, when you have the verb to be, it's only the verb to be. Teacher? Not the verb. Yes? If I want to make a question in, um, in, past, in past continue, can I use a bear? In that case, yes, you can. Imagine that is another topic, but yes, you can. Know, for, for example, were you cooking a dinner, for example? In okay. this case, it's perfect because oh, okay. it's the verb in ing. But yeah, yeah. If, uh -huh, if you say just where you cook, that is not possible. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Very good. Okay, we will continue, but before that, before I forget, I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, if you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay, Andrea Amalia. Eh, Atilio Ernesto. Atilio. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. Um, present teacher. Okay, yes, thank you. Let's see, Blanca Elizabeth. Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. Okay, Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, Henry Alberto. Henry, okay. Um, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Sorry, teacher. I'm, I'm not... Okay, thank you, Henry, and thank you, Jorge. Um, let's see, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Juan Antonio Elias. Okay, Juan Jose Herrera. Present. Okay, Karen Rocío. Present. Okay, Carla Sofía. Present. Carol Elizabeth. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay, Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay, 
Eh, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michelle. Present, teacher. All right. Um, Jan Siquelita. Jancy? Okay. Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Okay. Y Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. So everyone, now let's practice the just no questions. I want you to write five questions about the past events. Could be at work or could be in your daily life. And only using the verb to be in past. For example, look at the question. Were you at home last weekend? If you see, I don't have another verb, only the verb to be. Another one, if you want, you can add, add well, I'm going to, voy a quitar la última, sorry, because that one is not a, a just no question, sorry. Okay, look at the next question. Can you see what I'm sharing? Can you see the presentation? Not teacher. No? no, okay, sorry, teacher. sorry. And how about now? Can you see it now? Yes. yes. Okay, so look, were you at home last weekend? If the answer is yes, how can I say that? Yes? Yes, I was. Perfect. If the answer is no, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Perfect. Now, look at the next question. Were you alone one hour ago? If the answer is no? No, I wasn't. No, I? Wasn't. I wasn't. That's the one. Okay? So, everybody, write five questions, please. Yes, no questions using the past of the bird to be. If you want to do it in third person, in singular, you can also do it. For example, you can say, um, was your mother with you uh, last night, for example? If you see, this is in third person, so you can do it. Was your mother with you last night? So in the answer, we can say, yes, she was, or no, she wasn't, okay? So you have three minutes to write the five questions, everyone. Invent the questions, write the questions that you want. Inventenselas, puede ser sobre su work, or about daily life, okay? Write five questions. Go ahead. Teacher? Yes? Do I have to write the five question and the answer too? No, the answer, no, only the questions. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Yes, write only the questions because the idea is that you will Ask the questions to your classmates. And your classmates will answer saying yes or no. Write five questions. Invent, okay? Invent. If you have questions, tell me. If you don't know a word, if you have doubt with the vocabulary, tell me. Okay, two more minutes.
How much did you say, teacher? Only five. Thank you. Yes, only five questions. Keep it simple. Don't complicate too much. Remember, verb to be, subject, complement. That's it. You can ask about the work. For example, you can say, were you early at work this morning? Or, I don't know, were you at the restaurant yesterday morning? Were you happy <laughs> uh, this morning, for example? Or were you angry last Saturday? So those type of questions you can ask. So everybody, are you ready? Do you have the five questions? Yes? Or not yet? Aha, uh -huh. everyone, you ready? Finish the five questions? Remember, it's not necessary to write the answers, only the questions. Okay, I will give you one more minute and then you will ask the questions to your classmates. One more minute. How many questions do you have now? Five. Five, so you're ready, very good. Anyone else? Are you ready? I... Ready, okay. Yes. Yes, very yeah. good. Okay, so now the idea is that you will interview to your classmates. Okay, I want you to ask the question and your classmate will answer yes or no, right? But remember, yes, I was, no, I wasn't, or depending on the subject. So we got five minutes, you will be in pairs, so you can ask one and one. For the ones that are with a listener, tell me, so I will switch you to another group, okay? Let's go to practice, zero Spanish. Let's go. Hello, Karen. Hello. Hello, hello, are you ready? Yes. Okay. If you want, ask me your question after I ask you my question. Mm. Were you in the beach yesterday? Yes, I was. Were you uh, dancing in the strip last night? No, I wasn't. Were you go to crush on Saturday? Yes, I was. Were you take a shower yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, hold on with that one. Were you take a shower? Remember, we cannot add another verb if we have the verb to be, okay? Be careful. So in that case, we, we cannot say that. 
No podemos poner otro verbo si ya tenemos el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. Very good. Continue. Entonces sería solo where they. Mm, no, really. In that case, no podríamos hacer esa question. Like, ¿te bañaste ayer? No. Porque ya tiene otro verbo. It has another verb. So, basically, we just have to change the question totally. Okay? Okay. Okay. Celia I... is here too. And so, you can ask her too. Or who's next? I will ask her. Okay. So, Juan asked to Celia. And Celia, you will ask to Karen. Okay? Okay, thank you. Very good. <clears throat> Celia, was he early yesterday? Yes, I was. Uh, was he early yesterday? Yeah. Yes, he was. Okay. Were you in class this morning? No, I wasn't. Thank you, too. Finish, teacher. All right. So, Jorge, can you ask one of your uh, one of your questions? Yeah. Um, were you with your family last Sunday? Ah, very good. What will be the answer, Kenya? Yes, I was. Good. Can you ask one of your questions? Were you early at work every day? Mm, very good question, Jorge. Yes, I was. Good job. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, just let me check one more group and then we will go back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. The email yesterday. Sorry? Where? Were you checking the email yesterday? No, I was not. Were you, busy, were you busy in the work today? Yes, I was. Okay. Okay, can you were repeat? You, can you repeat the question, please? Were you busy in the work today? Okay. Yes, I was. Okay. <laughs> Next. Were you sleep yesterday in your home? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Were you conference past Monday? Where I? Were you conference past Monday? No, I wasn't. Okay. Where you work on the weekend? Uh, no. I wasn't. Okay, hold on with that. Where you work. Mm. work. But in that case, remember, if I have the verb to be, can I add another verb in the sentence? Okay. So in that case, where you work, mm -mm. we can say where you at work, right? In that case, we can. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, where you at work? That's the one. On weekend? No, I wasn't. All okay. right. So, sorry uh, to interrupt you. So, uh, Ezekiel, did you ask your questions already? Yes. Okay. So, with sure, the... uh -huh. uh, sorry, I, I would like to know more about the that the, the verb in the in the in the question. Because sometimes um, it's in it's normal to say a, a verb in, a, in that, but I would like to know more about that. Okay, I will give you another example, but in the main room, so everybody can listen, okay? Okay, okay. Thank Let's, you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's go back to the main room right now. Okay. 
time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Okay, very good, very good. Good questions, very nice job. Okay, everyone, super good job. I liked it, you are practicing a lot. I didn't listen to Spanish. Great job, you are improving. Now, uh, little details, this is one of the most common mistakes that I was listening in some groups. Remember, for example, if I say where you work, uh, last Saturday, for example. So I have the verb to be here and I have the verb work here. Can I have another verb if I have the verb to be in the sentence? No. Nope. Just imagine, try to translate this sentence. ¿Cuál sería la traducción? ¿Estuviste trabajar el sábado pasado? So, ¿Tiene sentido? No. No, really. Right? So, that's why we cannot add another verb when we have the verb to be. What we can do is change. En lugar de usarlo como un verbo, we can use it as a noun and we can say, were you at work? What will be the translation? Si estaba en el trabajo. El exactly. Estuviste en el trabajo. So it's not trabajar anymore. It's en el trabajo. So we cannot put another verb if you have the verb to be. Okay. Ya más adelante vamos a ver how we can use another verb what can we do but that is the topic for tomorrow okay but sure. yes tell me it's incorrect the question where you eat pupusas the last weekend yes, yes. where you eat pupusas so this is the same example because i have the verb to be here and i have another verb so yes, this question is incorrect. So tomorrow we will see how we can ask questions with another verb, okay? But that is a okay. topic for tomorrow because unfortunately today we don't have more time. Okay, so before leaving, I just want to ask Lady Xiomara is here? Yeah. Yes, okay, so lady, please you stay. Everybody else, you can go, have a good night. Don't forget to work on the platform and see you tomorrow. Hey, bye. Bye, see you goodbye. Bye, see bye, you. good night. Good night, good night. Only lady stays, please. Good night. Okay, hello, lady. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Okay, this meeting is just to answer some questions that you may have about the class or about the program, okay? So tell me, do you have any questions about the class? A topic that you feel that is difficult? Uh, yes, con, con a question. Mm -hmm. Especially, uh, when using the what or where? When using? The what or where? Was and where. Okay, perfect. So was and where is basically a verb to be. In present, ¿se acuerda de cuál era el simple present del verbo to be? Was. Okay, let me share no. here. Okay, in simple present, for example, decíamos, I am, you are, she is, right? Pero esto es en presente. En pasado, ya no vamos a decir, I am. Vamos a decir, I was. En lugar de decir, you are, en pasado decimos, you were. She is, en pasado, ¿cómo sería? She was. Exactly, very good. So basically, en pasado solo vamos a tener dos opciones, was 
or where. Si yo digo we are en pasado, ¿cómo sería? Uh, we're, we were. Exactly. Very good job. So, for example, I was happy. In negative, how can I say that in negative? I wasn't. Exactly. I wasn't happy. Now, you were, for example, you were at home. ¿Cómo digo esto en negative? You went. Ajá. Uh -huh. Excellent. You weren't at home. Ahora, yo quiero preguntarte a ti si tú estuviste en casa. ¿Cómo puedo hacer la pregunta? Were you at home? Very good. Were you at home? So, if the answer is yes. Yes. Uh, I... Uh -huh. Yes, I was. Good job. Yes, I was. If the answer mm -hmm. is no. No, I was. Perfect. No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. So this is the way that we can use was and where. So affirmative, negative, solo le agregamos el not. If it is a question, mm -hmm. solo colocamos el where at the beginning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, ¿hay alguna pregunta específica que tenga sobre esto? In, in the verb, sería en su forma base. Mm, ok, en este caso, cuando um, tenemos el verbo to be, no podemos agregarle otro verbo. For example, si decimos, where you go to the party, for example, no podemos agregar otro verbo. Porque entonces diría, ¿estuviste tú ir a la fiesta? So, ¿tendría sentido? No, really, right? Entonces, no podemos agregarle otro verbo si ya tenemos el verbo to be. So, it's only the verb to be. In this case, lo que podemos decir es, ¿were you at the party? ¿Estuviste en la fiesta? So, but no more, eh, any other verb. Ahí si no se le puede agregar otro verbo. Ok. Ok. Any other questions that you may have? No. No more okay. questions. Very good. So, what is the pronunciation? Do you feel that the pronunciation is easy, difficult, 50-50? The yeah, regulars. It's easy. With the Very regulars? Well. Yes. Okay, okay. So let's continue practicing. It's just with the time. Little by little we'll be improving. Okay, so don't forget to continue practicing. Uh, with the platform, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? Mm, excellent. Very good. Okay, continue working on it, please. Uh, de hecho, let's see. Bueno, ahorita no me carga la plataforma, pero voy a volver a revisarla. La última vez que revisé la plataforma iba bien, así que good. So continue working on it, please. Okay? Very good. Um, solo una cosa, eh, yo veo que casi no participa, casi siempre la tengo como oyente. What happened? Um, es que fíjese que mi conexión sí es bastante, bastante mala. Oh. Y, y a veces... Así me desconecto y me cuesta mucho volverme a conectar. Ok, I understand. Sí, lastimosamente, right, porque casi, casi no la escucho, pero bueno, esperemos que la conexión pueda ir mejorando. Cuando tenga una buena conexión, tratemos de participar lo más posible. Y sí, veo que usted básicamente ya terminó la plataforma, así que excelente job. Very good, very good. Thank I like you. it. Excellent. Ok, so lady, eh, keep going. Lo está haciendo muy bien con la plataforma. Excellent job. Y me gustaría poder escucharla participar un poquito más. Así que esperemos que la connection pues, pueda mejorar y que nos ayude en ese ámbito. Ok. Ok, thank you. Any other question or comment that you may have? No. No? Ok. Sí. Very good. Ok, lady, see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.